The quotient of powers property states that to divide powers with the same base, we subtract their exponents. So in this example, a to the fifth power divided by a to the second power, they both have the same base of a, so we can write it out like this. We have a, times a to the fifth power is a times itself five times, and a to the second power is a times itself two times. Now we know that when we have the same number on top as we do on the bottom, they cancel each other out because they're equal to one. So for every a on the top that there is on the bottom, I can cancel out. So we end up with two that go away by canceling them out. That equals one. And when we multiply by one, we don't need to show that. So we're left with a times a times a. So there's three a's left over. Our answer is a to the third power. What we really did was we took five a's and we subtracted two a's and we ended up with three a's. We subtracted the exponents. That rule works as long as the base is the same. So in the example down here, we'll see that this works whether we're dealing with a base that's a variable or a number. Make sure in this problem that we don't make mistakenly divide six by six. If the base is six in the problem, the base is going to be 6 in our answer. So we leave our, the base 6 and we subtract the exponents. 9 minus 4 is 5. So our answer would be 6 to the fifth power. In this example with the z's, we have the same base of z, so we can subtract them. The exponent is 8 on top. We subtract 3 on the bottom. And we end up with 5 left over, z to the fifth power. In these next examples, we have a few extra steps that we need to do. If we look at this problem here with 12n to the fifth power divided by 8n to the third power, we have to separate the numbers from the variables. So I'm going to deal with the number part first. If we have 12 over 8, we can think of it as 12 eighths. We want to simplify that by finding a number that goes into both 12 and 8. I know that both of those numbers can be divided by 4, and I end up with 3 over 2. Since 3 over 2 cannot be simplified any further, I know that has to be a part of my answer. Now if we look at the n's, n to the fifth power and n to the third power, since they have the same base and it's dividing, we can subtract the exponents. 5 minus 3 is 2, so I end up with n to the second power and it goes on top. Sometimes it's confusing about where do we put that n to the second power, so it might help if you visualize it like we did up here with the a's. If you visualize five ends on the top and three on the bottom, and we cancel out three of them, the three, three on the bottom cancel out with three on the top, and then there's two left over, and those two leftovers are up on the top from the five. So that's why, why that goes on the top with a three. Our answer is three n squared divided by two. In this last problem, we have even one extra step to follow in this one. We've got to simplify the numerator before we do any of the dividing. So I see a 2 and a 10 that are just regular numbers. And it's multiplying on top, so I'm going to multiply those together to get 20. I also see that a to the fourth power and a to the third power have the same base. So I leave my base in a, and I add the exponents, and I get 7. We haven't done anything with this a to the second power on the bottom. So now I've got 20 on top, a to the seventh on top, and a to the second power on the bottom. There's no other numbers to simplify with the 20, so we're going to make sure that in our answer we have a 20 on top. We have 7 a's on top and 2 a's on the bottom. If we cancel out 2 on top with the 2 on the bottom, we're left with 5 a's. And those 5 a's are on the top with the 20. There's nothing on the bottom. We could write this answer over 1, or we could also just leave it as 20 a to the fifth power. That would be simplified. There ends up being no denominator in this answer. 20 times a to the fifth power. 